What is up, guys? Lincoln here, and thank you for joining me for another episode of Dread Captures. We have an awesome video for you this week filled with creepy trail cam footage, paranormal experiences, and some dicey pictures and stories. Okay, now this is actually a pretty insane video. Picture this. You're just trying to report on a flood, and suddenly a mountain lion casually strolls into your newscast. Well, that's exactly what happened to this news reporter. She's there covering the flooding in Utah County when all of a sudden, a mountain lion walks right past her. Now, she thinks it's a dog at first, but... I mean, eh, clearly this thing is much bigger and wider, and not to mention, it doesn't look like a dog. It's pretty incredible how close she came to danger without even realizing it. I'd be freaking out. I mean, it's incredible how close the cat came to her. She's lucky. I do want to address the elephant in the room. Uh, what do we think here? Do we think she even knew that was a lion? I don't know, I need a statement from the news company. This next clip comes from India. We can see as this guy is just happily walking through the jungle, singing, just minding his own business. Suddenly he hears something weird and whips out his camera. What he captures next is straight out of a nightmare. It's bizarre. I've heard of Bigfoot in North America and the Yeti in the Himalayas, but a creature like this in an Indian rainforest? Well, no, I haven't heard about that. Its size is definitely menacing, but the scariest part is when it sees the camera, it tries to duck and hide behind a tree. To me, that means it's smarter than we're giving it credit for. I don't know what it is, but I'm intrigued by it. I guess, yeah, sure, it could be a person in a suit, but who knows? What do you guys think? We all know most dogs are incredible protectors, but this video shows a situation which is beyond their normal responsibilities. The owner's dog starts going crazy, so he just grabs and checks his security cameras to see what's going on. And yeah, he was pretty surprised when he looked. A shadowy, almost translucent figure is darting around the room. It's there one moment, gone the next. The man is understandably baffled, but he admitted that he was a little scared too. Now, anyone that owns a dog has seen them react to unseen things before. But I do feel like this is on another level. What are you guys thinking about? And I'm not really sure what this could be. Let me know your theories in the comments. Now, this video claims to show a group of explorers encountering a lost tribe deep in the woods. Said tribe is clearly wary of these strangers, trying to basically scare them off. But doing what explorers do, they stay and film anyway. Now, I'm not sure where this was filmed, but it's supposed to be super remote. Yeah, I'm not sure that this is a place I'd like to find myself in the woods. But on the flip side, as we know, uncontacted tribes can be very dangerous. But these people seem pretty calm, even after being kind of provoked. One of the commenters pointed out that if this is supposed to be so remote, a thing that is throwing him off is that there is a road in one of the shots. And I kind of agree, it might throw in question this whole thing. This next clip is a personal account from Alexander Sanchez, and he has captured truly some unsettling footage. While out gathering leaves with his family, 
he captured something strange on camera. As they explored the woods near an abandoned house, the camera picked up an unusually dark figure moving along the ground. It almost seemed to crawl. Out of nowhere, this creature stood up, revealing a disturbing humanoid shape. Now, what's even weirder is that Alexander claims he wasn't wearing a hat this day, but in the video, he clearly is. He's wondering if he dipped into some sort of matrix. Now, this isn't the first time we've seen strange occurrences in abandoned buildings, but this is definitely one of the creepiest. So, let me know your thoughts. Is this a paranormal entity or something else entirely? Okay, this is crazy. A group of women in downtown LA had a once-in-a-lifetime experience with a majestic red-tailed hawk. This guy decided their car was the perfect spot to hang out on. And for literally over 15 minutes, they were treated to an up-close and personal view of this incredible bird. Yeah, it's pretty crazy how calm and composed this hawk is just sitting there, staring straight at the camera. These women tried everything to get it to leave, but clearly the hawk wasn't having it. They started using the windshield wipers, the washer fluid, swerving left, swerving right. They even called someone for advice. Nothing worked. It wasn't until the bird just decided it was time to move on. Well, if anything, these ladies have quite the story to tell. Now, this clip is straight out of a horror movie. Now, it stars, and for some reason, this person is filming an underpass on a snowy night. The next thing you know, they start heading towards a house and a manhole. And the noises coming from that manhole are beyond creepy. It sounds like something out of a movie. What on earth is down there? What are we thinking? Are we thinking Pennywise is down there? Ugh, I hate clowns. One commenter said that this could easily just be a really weird plumbing issue. Either way, it's terrifying, and I'm not surprised the guy filmed it. This next clip is scary for different reasons. We see a young girl get off her scooter going to greet her dad. And out of nowhere, this big dog comes rushing her. But dad isn't having it, and I don't blame him. The type of dog doesn't look like the traditional aggressive type, but when it comes to your kids, man, you can't play around. And it's hard to see the dog's body language, but he might just be in fact playing around. I don't know, but I don't blame dad for not taking any chances. And I'll say this, look. I am an animal lover, I have dogs, I've had them my entire life, I love them, love, 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 they are part of the family, but unfortunately, they're not equal to children. They're not. I'm sure most of us have seen the show The Walking Dead. So where do you stand on zombies? Fiction or frightening reality? Well, this video might make you rethink things. Captured on a trail camera, this creature looks straight out of a zombie movie. I mean, look at this thing. It's moving slow, stiff, a gaunt body and limbs, and the peculiar way it's just wandering around aimlessly. This is actually pretty creepy. Could this be proof that zombies are real? I say this a lot, but I feel like this is either... I often say this, but I feel like this is either the real thing or a fake. But at the end of the day, either way, it's creepy.
This next bit of creepy footage was captured at 4.30 in the morning in El Paso, Texas in April of 2023. As the clip plays, we see a young woman come running up to this house, frantically trying to get someone's attention. She's alone, but it looks like she's worried that she won't be for long, like someone's chasing her. You can see as she continuously glances over her shoulder. You can see she's visibly upset in the camera. She's crying, pleading with them to open the door. All of a sudden, she must hear something, and she goes to crouch down. We soon see headlights. I feel like it's pretty clear at this point she's running from someone, or has escaped from someone. I mean, she is distraught. Eventually, we see some headlights pull up, and she goes out towards the driveway, but no one knows if she got in the car or not. The camera didn't pick that up. As soon as this hit the online community, there were tons of speculation. Most notably was that she was being trafficked and she had escaped her traffickers. And many agreed that this really could be what it was, being near the southern border. Now there was a faction of people that think she had a more sinister plan. They explained that this could have been a setup, that this woman was actually acting like she was frantic in hopes that the person would open the door and then people would come from around the corner and burglarize the home. They pointed out a few reasons, most notably that if she really needed help, when the neighbor's light came on, she would have gone over there. And you know, I have to kind of agree with that. Like who cares who helps you if you're this frantic? This house, that house, who cares? Others say, and I can't really tell from the video, that she is walking up and then when she sees the camera, she starts to run and act frantic. I couldn't catch that, but. A few weeks later, a mugshot hit the El Paso, Texas news, and many are speculating that it is the same girl, which is quite the plot twist. That story was never able to be corroborated, but what do you guys think? Admittedly, I thought the former. I thought maybe she had escaped someone, maybe not a trafficker, but just a bad situation. But I will say the other group has made some good points. If you need help, you need help. Why didn't you just go to the neighbors? I don't know, very interested in what you guys think. I don't think I've paid more attention to our skies and the thoughts of extraterrestrial visiting than I have this past year or so. I mean, it seems like a never-ending puzzle. We've got glowing orbs, shape-shifting lights, speeding bullets flying through the air. I mean, there's always something crazy going on up there. This clip captures a bright light zooming across the sky in a way that, well, no ordinary plane can. I mean, this thing has some speed. It maneuvers weirdly, and to sum it up, it's, it's not your average aircraft. What is it? I'm saying secret government project or a freaking UFO. In this next clip, we see Grandma and she is just here celebrating a birthday. She's got her family surrounding her and she's happy. Now to me and to most people watching, this probably just feels like a normal video. But if we keep our eyes peeled, we're going to see something that might keep you up at night. Did you see it? As everyone is singing, there's a shadowy figure of a little girl running by the grandmother. Some commenters felt that this could just be a party goer, someone's kid running past the camera. The camera isn't that old. I mean, this camera would have picked up a kid running by it. I mean, how fast is this kid? I guess it could be some glitch, but it wasn't until the uploader mentioned that the grandmother who's celebrating the birthday lost a young daughter about the age of the shadow person that ran by her. But this woman's daughter tragically passed away many years ago. And one of her favorite things to do was to chase her siblings all through this exact house. So while it's scary to us, family members have come out and said that there is a little comfort there. And well, I guess that's all that matters.
This is a pretty cool clip. This guy avoids the shockwaves by jumping off his jet ski and going underwater. The meteor that literally turns the night into the daytime gets so bright. And then we just have a crab swimming, which we'll revisit at the end of this. I've seen this part. This is the forest breathing, they call it. This is actually really cool. It's not creepy to me. It's just cool. And this is, in my opinion, the creepiest thing. What in the heck? I mean, is that real? Does that thing have a... Is that real? Does that have one eyeball? Like a cyclops in the middle of its head? What in the world? And lastly, this is a pretty cool one. This osprey just dives down, completely submerges itself, and grabs a huge fish. Now, like I said, these are all pretty cool. And remember, I mentioned we'd revisit the crab. So, after going through all of the comments, they voted that the crab swimming was the creepiest. Apparently... 90% of the viewers of this have never been to the ocean or didn't know that crabs swam. I was a little blown away by that. I mean, all the comments were saying, oh, the crab swimming is the craziest. That's the creepiest. Holy cow, I didn't know crabs could swim. I guess for some that that was a new nightmare that was unlocked. I don't know. Let me know if you guys were surprised by that or maybe if you didn't know that crab swam. Karaburi Rock is a fascinating and mysterious rock formation located about 50 kilometers east of Alice Springs in the Northern Territory of Australia. Made up of dolomite, this natural structure holds deep cultural and spiritual significance for the Arente or Aboriginal people who consider it a sacred site. In 1959, something truly peculiar happened here. R.S. Blantz, a Presbyterian minister from Adelaide, was visiting Karaburi Rock and decided to take a photograph of what he thought was an empty scene, just the rock surrounded by some shrubs and open space. A few weeks later when he got back, he developed the photos. He was stunned to see the image of a figure standing amidst the scrub that bordered the clearing. As we can see, the figure appears to be a semi-transparent woman, wearing a long dress, while it's an image that has both fascinated and puzzled people for years and years, this is known in circles as a legit paranormal picture. Now, the area isn't just a geological wonder either. It's also of great importance to the indigenous communities living in the region. They actually consider the area around Karaburi Rock to be a dangerous place for women, children, and men who haven't undergone certain initiation rites. It's viewed as a sacred site that demands immense respect, which should go without saying climbing on the rock is strictly off limits. Now back to the apparition. Do we think that R.S. Blantz captured an actual photo of a woman? I know I do. I know a lot of other people do. I think that's good enough for me. Just an incredible photograph. <laughs> 